Welcome to the Toe Show. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hi everyone, welcome back. And these are the toenails that I'm going to be showing you how to do. And I am going to be using a poly gel that I bought. I found it on eBay and it's a 15 mil pot. It's a skin color and it was $3.20 free shipping. And I am in so much love with this color. I cannot believe how good this color matches my skin. I will have a link in the description box below so you can go there and check it out and maybe pick some up because I do recommend this. I'm going to be using my pink mix and match dual form here, but you can use any dual form that fits your toe. The pink mix and match are getting really hard to find and they're getting pretty pricey. But yeah, any dual form will work as long as it fits your toe. And these are my toes and no, I do not have toenails on my large toes and they're never gonna grow back. I had them removed permanently. I had problems with them ingrown toenails just a lot of issues so i just had them taken off and i filed the nail bed with a fine sanding bit and i removed a lot of the dead skin and the black that you're seeing is actually dried blood a lot of times if you wear artificial toenails on your nails and you bump your toes it will cause you to get a blood blister it's like a black and blue you know and i try to file those off but you can't get them all off you know because you'll file down into your skin and cause more bleeding so you just have to let them heal up and you know dry out and just file little bits at a time so what i've done so far is i have cleaned them with alcohol i applied bond aid and bond x Bond 8 is a dehydrator, Bond X is a primer, and no, those are not products that are to be used on the skin, but like I always say in my videos, I do this for me and no one else, and I share what I do to myself, I share it with you in case there's some people out there that want to fix their toes that don't have toenails, or toes that do, you know. So anyways, I you can see i'm pointing at the one toenail has a lot more dark on it a lot of dried blood there uh the one on the right the one on the left isn't too bad i it looks a little raw yeah but uh, that's what happens you know i told you that so what i'm going to do to try to cover up these dark spots because they will show through when i apply the poly gel so uh, I want to put on another layer of poly gel, just very thin to start. So what I'm doing now is applying a base gel and then I'll cure the base gel. And now I'm going to apply just a very little amount of the skin colored poly gel just with a spatula here. And then I'm going to use a brush and just pat it into place and just around that dark spot mostly just to try to camouflage it before I use the dual form and once I get it into place I'll go ahead and cure that for about one minute one and a half minutes and that's what it looks like so it's pretty much covered up right now it's not too bad you don't have to file it or clean it or do anything else so now I've got my dual form out and I'm just getting some poly gel out this is this is a soft poly gel, but it's not overly soft. It's pretty easy to work with. And I'm just using isopropyl alcohol to pat it into place. And you just want to get a thin layer for this uh, toenail here right now, because I'm going to do two layers. And you just pat it into place. And when I have it ready, I am going to go ahead and put it on my toe. And here I go. I just set it on there, make sure it's straight, push it down a little bit, and some might squirt out around the edge, and you can clean that up with a spatula or with a brush and some alcohol or slip solution. And that's what I'm doing here, just cleaning that little bit out. And now I get my little light and I cure it. A lot of times I just flash cure it with this small lamp and then I put it in my larger lamp to get a good cure 
because it's a stronger lamp. But yeah, I do cure it for about one and a half minutes. And that's what it looks like so far. And you can see some of it did squirt out. So I have to come in with my spatula and kind of scrape it out. And you know, maybe file some of that out. And that's what it looks like here. It looks pretty thick, but that's just what squished out over the edge of the dual form. It's not really that thick. So I start to file it first and that loosens that up. And then here's the next toe. I'm just placing it on the same as I did the other one, getting it straight, getting it into place, grabbing this small lamp and giving it a flash cure. And then I will switch over to my larger lamp and do a cure for one and a half minutes. And then I pop it off and that's what it looks like so far. It looks pretty good. And you can still see the dark spot coming through. And that's why I need to do another thin layer. And again, it looks pretty thick at the end, which I'm gonna file it. And then that's gonna come off. You're gonna see that that's gonna come right out of there. And look, I have a little crack there because it's so thin, you know, this is a very thin layer. And I am just going to file this toe now and show you how this will just come right off. See how it looks thick, but it really isn't. It's just what's squished over the dual form. And I'm going to take the clippers and clip that. Just clip it right off. And you're going to see how thin the toenail really is. Do you see that? See, it's not that thick. That was just some that had squished over. And then I'll file the toenails and then I will buff out the surface of the nail and then apply another layer of the base gel because I have to apply a second layer of poly gel. And here they are, they're already filed and cleaned and I'm ready to apply the base gel. I'm applying the base gel right now. I will put that on both of my toes and cure it for 30 seconds. And now I'm just preparing the second layer of the poly gel inside the dual form. And it's not that thick of a layer either. Just I'm just keeping both of these layers a medium to thin thickness. And now I'm just going to place that over my other layer of my toenail, hold it into place just like I did last time, slightly pressing and cleaning out anything that comes out of the side walls. And now I'm going to flash cure it. And then I will cure it the rest of the way for one and a half minutes in my other lamp. All right, and now I'll just wiggle the form and pop it right off. And it looks really good. It looks very good. I'm really happy with the way it looks. And it's not that thick, you can see here. It's really not that thick. And I'm gonna show you how you can fix that by filing it. Okay, here's the other toenail. You can see the dark, the one on the right. I still have to do it. Just going to pop this form off of my right toe and that looks good. I'm satisfied with it. Love the color. Here's what they look like so far. I've already filed the left one. I just have to show you how I take that thickness down. On the right toe, I still have to file it yet. But they look good. All right, so what I do is I take my e-file and I use a very fine cardboard sanding band and I just kind of put it down there and you want to be careful work kind of slow because you don't want to burn your skin because you can really you can really file off your skin if you're not careful you can also use a smaller carbide bit to go under there and take down the thickness and now here what I did was I went ahead and put some white gel polish on my tip of my nail and gave it a little bit of a white tip and then I will cure that and top coat it and this is what they look like all finished I'm really satisfied with these nails I really love that color so I'm just going to give myself a little bit of 
oil on my toes and my feet. This is my own personal oil that I only use on myself. These toenails here will last anywhere from one week to eight weeks. It really depends on you and your lifestyle. I do find that polygel nails don't last as long as acrylic. Acrylic seems to last a lot longer on me. And yeah, so if you don't have any toenails and you wanna learn how to do them, I hope this can help you out. Again, check the description box for the link to this polygel major digit. And that's what the toenails look like. I'm really happy. I think they look good. And thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.